modern box fan that Emerson Colley doesn't like productions presents something rare and that not many people have seen or heard about yes it is vintage and yes it is a tape recorder and yes it uses cartridge Yes, it runs at one and seven eighths inches per second. Yes, it uses one eighth inch tape. And it is portable. It is, is it a cassette recorder? Not exactly, but kind of. <laughs> In here stores a microphone, which also acts as a speaker during playback, which goes to a DIN plug right here. And here is the main machine. Let's unscrew this on the side so that it will not be held on to the leather case. Here's the case. Nice red inside. And here's the machine. It's made by Philips in Austria. Um, a person, a YouTuber in Germany, had sent me a five machines like this. Two of them were battery machines like this, and three of them were transcription types. Now, not all of them work properly, and still a couple have deteriorated belts that I haven't got around to working with. Yes. They're a pain to work with, those deteriorated belts. I had to replace deteriorated belts in this one. It's not fun. Well, here's a cassette. And here's what the cartridges look like. It's cartridge, but separate, like reel to reel. So on the machine, we take one cartridge. Loaded on one side is the supply cartridge, take up cartridge on another side, and watch this. If you notice on there, you see there's a little piece on there. Now watch this. When I move this lever down, a catch will get the piece and pull it to the other side. Once the catch pulls it in, you can use this and that latch will catch on and thread it in the machine. You can then do your fast forwarding and rewinding. To turn the on the motor and amplifier for playback and recording, you push down on there and to keep it latched, you push that over. You can hear the amplifier on as it plays through the mic. Now this is not very loud and it does not pick up sound that well. The volume's all the way up. What a, what a big old job it was to have to do to clean the deteriorated belts. As River would say, it did the Phillips. Yes, River, I believe the YouTube name of him, I think it's AG3304, something like that and his name is River. Anyway, yes, he, is, he would say it, done the Phillips whenever um, the belts would deteriorate. But anyway, yes, it's a very neat machine. There's a power, I think there's a power indicator light, but I think the connection is a little loose. It comes on every now and then. Now to record, you push down to record and you just like a cassette, do play at the same time. I'm now recording on this uh, machine. Sometimes the light lights up similar like a recording level, but I don't think it's supposed to be for a recording level. Because one time I was recording and then it came and the light just stayed on. But anyway, let's see how this sounds. Now sometimes a switch in there has a hard time getting, making good contact to make the audio come through. It's not very loud. I'm recording on this no. uh, machine. So 
you can have that similar like a recording level, but I don't think it's supposed to be for recording level. Because one time I was recording and then it came and the light just stayed on. But anyway, let's see how this sounds. It's best to put up to your ear to listen to and I put it near the microphone of the camera because it's just not very loud. I was recording and then it came and the light just stayed on. But anyway, let's see how this sounds. But it's very interesting. Over here is a small tape counter which is kind of, it goes in a circle like that. It's different from the, what you normally see on a tape counter. There's the volume and the light and all the controls. And on the side, you have a plug-in for DC in, and then you got your microphone plugged in, which is labeled with an M. On the back, you got your place where you put the batteries. This is a model EL3583 slash 15, let's see if we can, yeah, there we go. Got a good glimpse of that on there. Okay, let's try giving some shout outs to Forgetful Collector, Vinyl Records Never Die, known as Miguel, AG3304, River, um, Clyde Sight, Spat Spare 2, Emerson Collie, Toast Machine Idiot, Count Mass, Retro Chad, J Blair 1982, All American 5 Radio, Honeycomb Agent, Steel Rain 3, also known as Soul Sister Ann, The Real Master, Dr. Cassette, Analog Josh, Brooklyn Mouse Returns, Pine Brick Motor Lodge, I'm a junk collector, also known as Don. Well, that's all I can think of right now. Sometimes this machine has wow and flutter problems. The motor may be under strain because the belt that I put on is pretty tight. Because, well, I don't have all the belts in the world. Now, this machine really is very quiet, and you, can, you can't hear it that loud. I want to have it the volume all the way up and have it at this distance. But here, just how quiet it really is. Well, that's all I can think of right now. Sometimes this machine has wire and flutter problems. The yeah, see, so not really the loudest of all. Ma mainly, I have to put it up to your ear to hear it good, but it's a very neat machine. By the way, before I go, I'll show this button is a pause control. That's why I could list all those names without big long spaces.